Researchers are rewarded for making splashy claims. So because the rewards are for splashy findings, rather than accurate findings, we create this dysfunctional incentive environment. And the Center for Open Science exists to try to fix that. Professor Brian Nosek is a social psychologist at the University of Virginia. As a grad student, Brian and some of his colleagues discovered that under the pressure to release groundbreaking scientific findings, researchers often published flawed, unverified results. Very quickly, I learned that the more senior graduate students in my department were really concerned with, how can I publish this? How can I get a grant to support this? How am I going to get that postdoc to help me then get my next job? Science, as it turns out, isn't always the most open source endeavor. You know, imagine you go to buy a car and you can't look underneath the hood, you can't kick the tires, you can't test drive the car. You'd be very skeptical. Yet, this is the way that science has been done for years. Most researchers are honest researchers. They're trying to do the right thing. They have good intentions. But what it is, they need a, a nudge. They need the incentives or the normative behaviors to engage in healthy practices. To foster greater transparency, Professor Nosek co-founded the Center for Open Science in 2013. Today, the organization's open science framework has more than 600,000 registered users and counting. It's become the global research community's go-to workflow tool and is changing the way scientists work. The open science framework, or the OSF, is used by a lot of different types of people, types of institutions and organizations in different ways to make research or research outputs, data or collaborative workspaces more accessible and transparent. It really boils down to enabling everybody, the public, other researchers, etc., to access not just sort of the story, your findings, but really all the elements that you've produced as a researcher. As the Center for Open Science continues to develop infrastructure, it's also supporting communities at the grassroots level and providing and endorsing incentives and policy solutions. But the organization's work is far from finished. What we really hope for is continuing to scale up the behaviors that we're trying to promote now, more sharing of data and materials and code, more pre-registration of research designs so you can tell what was planned in advance versus what was discovered after the fact, and a broader embrace of transparency. It is wonderful to take a moment and reflect on how far it's come. But of course, when we turn and look forward, there is so much more to do to try to improve how it is that open scholarship practices become pervasive in the research community.